doing some analysis, you will actually be iterating until you meet the loads and whatever other design requirements. And if you don't meet the desirable attributes, you have to iterate or you run out of time. So what does this mean, especially on the structure, structural material and loads side? The applied loads that we take for granted, aerodynamic loads or whatever else, are never known extremely accurately, uh, in the, irrespective of how advanced your fluid dynamics, aerodynamics codes might be. Uh, you only can calculate those to within a certain approximation. And even if you have those reasonably accurately, whatever that might mean, translating those now to internal loads in your structure through, for example, some kind of a finite element model, again, involves certain assumptions and certain approximations. As if this were not enough, a specific maneuver, which basically has an entry point and an exit point, you go into a turn, and then you come out of the turn back to level flight, let's say, will be flown by different pilots, or even if the weather conditions are slightly different, such that you will end up with different loads exerted on the structure. So if you are doing design, you have to account for this. And typically what you do is you simulate the structure or you have some pilots fly it enough times with similar aircraft or know from previous experience to determine enough information to find the highest load or loads, depending on the types of loads, during that maneuver. And those highest loads, let's say the 95th percentile, you can then use to create a distribution shown here as a normal distribution. It doesn't have to be a normal distribution. But you take this distribution of the, I'm sorry, these are the highest loads. You take this distribution of the highest loads and the 95th percentile or something along those lines, could be 90th, could be 99th, depending on the application, becomes your uh, applied load accounting for variability in how that maneuver, a 3G turn, might be flown, for example. Uh, 